Hey guys, this is Josh from We Are Solstice doing a quick tutorial on how to get one-to-one -one motion from your finger dragging across a mobile device. This is a question I had, so I planned on making a video for anyone who had a similar question. We're going to start out by going to the Asset Store. We're going to look up Touch. And it's going to bring up one of the best packages I've gotten for mobile development. It's absolutely amazing. It's free. It's called TouchScript. You're going to download it and import it in your project. Uh, if you don't have an account, create one real quick. It's very, very easy. So we're going to import it. Once it's imported, you're going to get this. It's a folder called TouchScript. You're going to see that it's got an examples folder that allows you to double click any of these and import whatever these are into your project. I already did the iOS examples one, so all of those are already implemented in here. So I'm going to go into the prefabs and I'm going to drag in the debugger because that's very important to making sure it's working. Um, I'm going to do a couple things that are just necessary. Uh, the main camera, because I'm going to be working f in 2D for this tutorial, I'm going to go into layers and do the camera layer 2D from the touch script. Now I'm going to create another thing that's going to handle the how it takes in the inputs. I'm going to call it touch script. And then I'm going to add up here the input sources. I'm going to do mobile and the mouse because that allows me to make sure it's working. It'll work directly how it works here with the mouse, how it'll work with your finger on the, on the device. Now I'm going to create a 2D object, a sprite. I'm going to give it any one of these will work, but I'm going to do the, uh, let's do the knob. I'm going to make that a little bigger so you can see it better. I'm going to give it a collider. Circle collider will work fine. Then I'm going to go into the touch script and I'm going to add a gesture. We're going to do a pan gesture. And then I'm also going to add something called, nope, that's not what I wanted, something called the Transformer 2D, which is what's going to make it work. So now when I run this, you can see that when I click, it shows that it's registering. And then when I click this, it moves one to one. And that'll work exactly the same on your device. I'm moving it pretty rapidly for a mobile device, so if I go slower. And that's pretty much it. That should work. Thanks for watching.